Hi guys, uh, today I wanted to show you how to create little butterflies that you can add to a floral design or use as fast cheek art. You can also group them together to create a pretty face design. I will be using several different techniques and brushes and also different paints uh, including one strokes. The first one I'd like to show you is the one I have here on my arm. Uh, I posted a picture uh, yesterday, I think, of some butterflies on the side of my daughter's face that got a lot of interest. And uh, that is done using my favourite technique, the double dip flower petal. So, first we are going to load our brush. I've already pre-loaded this, obviously. If you want to know how to load from scratch, I have a tutorial on my page for it. I transfer some into the lid so that I don't have to dip back into my white paint with the coloured tip on my brush. So I'm just transferring a bit there. Make sure my brush is good and sticky. And loaded right up to the top with thick creamy paint. No use having creamy paint right on the tip and nothing right up at the ferrule. So I also like to clean the ferrule sometimes. I am going to start off with a pink. When you're doing butterflies and you're trying to go fast, I usually do a pink first. Then without washing my brush I go into the purple because you can load a dark after a light. And then I go into teal but I do have to wash my brush uh, before I dip into the teal. So misting my cake, only just a sheen on there, bit of a swirl coloured tip to the paint and then the technique I'm using is just like a petal except I'm pulling it up a little so I'm going to almost pull it up and then squish and then the other one pull it up and squish and just a little pull up and squish a little pull and squish and then our lower wings down here like that now, because I don't want to wash my brush again, I am reloading straight into the bit of paint that I put on my lid. And then straight into the purple, mist from a distance, just to get a sheen, swirl, and a purple tip. Again, pulling it up and squishing, pulling it up and squishing. And a small one, and then bottom wings either side. Pretty simple. Again, loading from my lid. I'll do another purple one for you. It's much shorter wings, and it just uses a simple petal technique of pressing and do little butterflies. You can do them with a double top wing. And for the bodies, just a little black paint. I have a very sharp pointed detail brush here. That is my go-to brush. It is from the Windsor & Newton range. It is from uh, the Galleria, I think is what it's called. Now, a dot for a head. Teardrop for a body, little teardrops, green tines. You can do the body in a series of dots, probably more suited to something like a dragonfly, but still looks cute on the butterfly. And you don't have to do your antennas as teardrops, you can do them curly. These ones, little ones, I usually just do just the body and the antennae. Okay, so that's your basic double dip flower um, butterfly. There is another one that I do, one more. Again, dipping into my lid. I can dip a few times, depending on how much I've put in here. I can reload quite a few times from it. 
and it must have my cake from a distance. Find a bit of spare skin. The other one I do is I squish and then I draw, well I drag it basically, up into a point. Like that. And then petal over the top, petal down the bottom. Little body. So you can do it however you wish, but it does always work with the petal technique. You can design these around the side of an eye. Sometimes I put little love hearts uh, in the spaces. I don't have any red loaded on my brush, but I'll show you with black using the same petal technique of pressing down. Create very small little love hearts all around. Very, very quick to do couple of these butterflies, a couple of love hearts, a few dots, a couple of minutes max. So I'll just clean my arm and we'll come back and I'll show you some one strokes. Okay back again, like I say you can create butterflies using one strokes and flat brushes, this is a three quarter flat, move it up with purple. You can um, start off with a basic uh, one-sided butterfly, so it's on the side view. Um, what I'm doing is I'm keeping my white part still and pivoting my brush around. All I'm worried about is this outer purple edge, what that's going to do. That is going to tell me what shape I'm going to create. So round, round, and a flick if you want. Basic, basic, basic. Right, next one, moving again, next one is also a side view butterfly but it is a two winged, so we're going up to a point, down just a little bit like that, start at the front again, go out again a little further, around, around. So now it looks like two wings seen from the side. You can be quite creative with these butterflies. You can do them quite frilly and jagged. Like that. When I'm doing uh, a butterfly seen as front on, we're doing both sides with wings, you can mark it out if you like. Uh, I always start with my left side because I'm quite clumsy with my left side, so whatever I do with my left side I can pretty much copy with my good side. Okay, over to my good side, I can see what I did there, I can copy it again. Okay, bodies, I'm just new using this chameleon black velvet I think it's called or soft velvet or something. Um, from the side my butterflies usually have this body, a couple of antennae, you can line all this if you want but that kind of defeats the purpose of doing a fast butterfly. You can also do a head and a body, antennas of your choice. There's so many possibilities with these, which I love about them so much. They're just so easy and so cute and you can do whatever you like, choose whatever colours you like, whatever a combination of colours, try all your one strokes, see how they work for you. 
I'll come back and show you one more technique. Okay, I forgot to tell you that using your one strokes, I was using a three quarter flat there. You can use a half inch flat, will give you much, much smaller butterflies. Depending on what you want to create, depending on the size of the child's face, you can do little ones, big ones, or depending on the size of your brush. Okay, I'll just wipe that off and I'll show you the next thing, which is using your flora brush. This is a low Cornell number no. 6 flora. I double load it. Today I'm doing pink. Any colour's good. Don't even have to double load it. And it's as simple as pressing. Pressing down. Creating the wings. Could not be simpler than that. These are probably the quickest and the cutest. So if you have one of these brushes, you now have a new use for it. Again, I'm pressing. Easy peasy. Butterfly on the side. I also have a larger, see, totally cute, I also have a larger brush here, this is a, uh, also a low Cornell number 10 flora, loaded into purples. running out of room. This makes a much bigger butterfly but still way, way simple. Oops. Do double wings. It is seriously as simple as that. So I hope this video has helped you and I look forward to seeing your lovely butterfly creations. Uh, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.